Hello, in this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to install Python on a Mac. First, go to python.org and locate the download section. Here, you will see the latest version available to download. At the time I'm recording this video, it is 3.7.1. If you're seeing something different, you shouldn't worry. As long as it is Python 3, there won't be big differences between our versions. So you can just get whatever latest version you see here. Just click on it and then roll down to the bottom of the page. We have two options for the Mac OS. If you're not sure what is the right one for you, you can just pick the first one and it's going to work just fine. Now that the download is finished, let's open the installer. Now we can just click next until the end. I'm just gonna leave it on my default Macintosh HD and it's going to be installed under the Applications folder. If you want, you can click Customize so you can see what is being installed. We can just leave all these options selected and click Install. Now that the installation is finished, it opens the Application folder automatically. If you're not seeing this, you can just go to Finder Go to the Applications folder and you see Python 3.7 or whatever version you just downloaded. We're gonna run Python through the idle, which is the development and learning environment for Python. But first, let me show you another way to run it. Just hit Command Spacebar and search for the terminal. When you're in the command line, you can just type Python and it's going to start running. But we have to be a bit careful because Mac computers come with Python pre-installed. But as you can see here, this is not the right version. Mac computers come with Python 2.7. And most of the code we're gonna use in this course is not going to work in this version. So just type quit, open and close parentheses. And if you wanna run Python 3 through the terminal, you can type Python 3. Now, we are running Python 3.7.1, which is the version we just downloaded. Every time you see those three greater than symbols, it means that you're inside a Python interpreter. So here you can type Python code. Let's try to do a very basic math operation here. I'll just type two plus three and hit enter. And now Python makes the calculation for us and prints the result below, which is five. We can also display a message using the print function. Just type print, open parentheses, and inside quotation marks, just type a message like hello world. Don't forget to close the quotation marks and close the parentheses. If you hit enter, your message is going to be displayed right below it. So our Python code is being executed, which is really cool. As I said, we're not gonna be running Python through the command line. So we can just quit and close the terminal. In the Applications folder, just select the idle and drag it to the dock. It's important to do this because we're gonna be using it a lot in the first lessons, so it's gonna be way easier to open it from here. Now we can see that Python 3.7.1 is running. We can also see those three greater than symbols, which means we're inside a Python interpreter. So let's try out that same line of code, two plus three, and the result is printed below. So here we have the same thing as before, but in the idle, we have additional resources to work with Python programs. For example, we can start a new Python program by going to file, new file. Here we can write multiple lines of code. So let's first display a message. So let's use the print function and inside quotation marks, which can also be single quotation marks, let's write a message like my first Python program. Don't forget to close the quotation marks and close the parentheses. Don't worry about the syntax right now, I'm gonna show you why and when we should use those symbols in the next lessons. 
just go to the next line and we can also print that math operation here. Please note that in the interpreter, we can type the operation and it's going to print the result for us. But when we're writing a Python program, we should always use the print function when we want to display something. So if we just type the operation here, it's going to calculate it, but it's not going to be displayed. So we must use the print function. For numbers, we don't need the quotation marks. We only need quotation marks for text. So here, we can just type in the operation. This is going to be clear when we talk about data types. So our first program is finished. Let's save it. Go to File, Save. For now, I'm just going to save it in the desktop. I'm going to name it test.py, which is the extension we should use for our Python programs. Now we can run it by going to Run, Run Module. You can also use the F5 shortcut. Now the lines of code we wrote in our program have been executed inside the IDLE. So now we have Python installed in our computer. We just learned two ways of running it from the command line and from the IDLE. We learned how to create a Python program and we just wrote our first lines of code. So we are ready to move to more advanced stuff. I'll see you in the next video.